fanatics on the banks of Volca, cannibals in the mountain bunker, slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves and now we're stuck with them forever. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We are getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. Sands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Christ even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kinda dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me, just A. She'd hug me and say, one day, A, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in, and from there to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much, but I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. Father quit drinking after mom's death. Didn't ever pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone, took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter and we went to the ocean together. Then my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over Mom's dream. Then I imagine she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going. Not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what Dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, so what are they? Higher rank? He could choose any. Saving people? What would the saved do next? Sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing, perhaps. 
He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro, those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though. I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot. Build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two. A boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. That harbor is our destination. Worth going there even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go, and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later. What do you know? Everything is perfect, Artyom. Follow us. You should have seen them dance. Don't you world. worry. You'll get another chance. A moment of your attention, please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained, <coughs> and much deliberation, we've found a place we could call our new home. <coughs> it is in the river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, Congratulations, everyone! Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 Yet, uh, this is not our last <laughs> order of business for today. Step on, Katya. Oh, rings! Step on, Katya. Repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to be my spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to for hold better you from this day forward, for worse, for better or for worse. For richer, <coughs> for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and, and in health. health. To love and to cherish to and until to cherish death do us part. To us part. As the captain of this ship, 
I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and go Gorka! 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 What's happening? Be careful, people! Anna, please hold on. What's happening? What is it, Anna? What's that cough? Gotcha. Do something, please. Don't this crowd her. Good. Give her air. Damn. I'm sorry, I didn't say anything. What are you talking about, baby? In the Yamantau. When they dragged me away, that ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump said I How can you lungs. believe that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand, so that might be the reason. Katya, Artem, a few words. Go. I'm fine now. I don't know about this. The old man is furious. Oh. Artyom's getting chewed out today. It's not Artyom's fault. I fell into that stupid bunker all by myself. And if Dad says one word to him about it, I'll tear him a new one. Yes, this is getting old. As soon as something happens, it's always Artyom's fault, even when he had nothing to do with it. That's just his fate. Fate? Get out of here! Yes. So, son, care to tell me what Arno, do we do please. now? Let us not panic and think constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes, I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start had it my been gas. My thoughts exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Oh, Anna coughed out some blood. Oh god. Do you really think it's the sin? Sounds more like TB to me. That's for sure. TB we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. But what if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Right, Novosibirsk. Yermak, your opinion. For Anna's sake, I'd go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 leagues. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If Anna's state worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So Katya, please, find that name for I'll us. I'll find it. Don't worry. One more thing, Artyom. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer, Go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell Anna and the people to calm down. Poor girl. Now I understand why she was so down lately. Just imagine thinking about all that for so long. So, what is the jury's verdict? <laughs> a 
Here are your orders, everyone. First of all, stay calm. The plan stands. We head for that valley with its fresh air and clean water. Then we go about settling there. If Anna's health... Dad, please. I repeat, Anna, in case you start getting worse, there's a drug Katya told us about, so we can go and find it for you, if it is needed. Hmm, that sounds like a great plan. I'd also like to say this. Guys, please don't worry. I've been feeling pretty bad as it is for ruining the party. Oh, come on, you didn't ruin anything. I just brought myself down to rock bottom over that bastard from Yamantel. Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that just now. All right, a toast. To you guys, just be happy together. Do you Go roast? Do you roast? Stefan, will you play that song so about us? <laughs> Easy as pie. Полковник Васин приехал на фронт со своей молодой женой. Полковник Васин созвал свой полк и сказал им, пойдем домой. Мы ведем войну уже 70 лет, нас учили, что жизнь это бой. Но по новым данным разведки мы воевали сами с собой. Я видел генералов, они пьют и едят нашу смерть. Их дети сходят с ума от того, что им нечего больше хотеть. А земля лежит в ржавчине, церкви смешались с золой. И если мы хотим, чтобы было куда вернуться, время вернуться домой. Этот поезд в огне, и на мне на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и на мне куда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничьей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. А кругом горят факелы, это сбор всех погибших частей. И люди, стрелявшие в наших отцов, строят планы на наших детей. Нас рожали под звуки марши, нас пугали тюрьмой. Но хватит ползать на брюхе, мы уже возвратились домой. Этот поезд в огне, и на мне на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и на мне куда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. Этот поезд в огне, и на мне на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и на мне куда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничьей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. This is definitely about us. There's even a kernel in it. Yes, it is time we took this land back. And one more thing. We don't want surprises like the ones we had on the Volga or in Yamantau. So we're sending a scouting party ahead on a rail car. Artyom needs a volunteer to support him. Me! Pick me! I'll check the hell out of that valley, please! <laughs> Something makes me think that Alyosha is mainly going to check if there are any Amazons or women in general there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all set. Frankly, I envy you, Stepan. You got a full family, a wife and child at once. And you don't have to worry about diapers <laughs> or belly aches. Envy is a bad thing. <laughs> we're not the ones to avoid diapers, Colonel. 
In fact, we're planning to present Nastya with a little brother, if she doesn't object. I'd rather get a sister. We could play with dolls together. I could care for her. You could play Sparta in special operations with the brother. I can't say I've ever been religious, but right now I'm begging all gods, please, watch over Anna and make the valley cure her of her affliction. In the meantime, Alyosha and I are on a recon mission. We have no idea of what is waiting for us there. Though Alyosha seems convinced that there are going to be crowds of women eagerly anticipating his arrival. If that turns out to be the case, then I have the best companion possible for this mission. Yes, I must say, I'm rather partial to this valley. Take air for one. Makes your head swim. Never smelled air like this in my life. I bet if we spend a week there, it won't just cure Anna. It'll make Colonel grow his feet back. Damn, this is one bumpy ride. The rails are all bent. The whole track seems to be fixing to slide down. I sure hope it can hold our weight. Let's hail the Aurora and tell them to take the other row. Come in, Aurora. This is forward recon. Do you read? Over. Colonel, sir, this track won't hold the Aurora. Take the main one. Over. The general situation is completely awesome, Colonel. Sir, Anna is sure to love it here. Over. <laughs> Glad to hear that. Carry on. Aurora, over and out. So the plan goes like this. We get to that dam, check it out quickly, and call them over. Just take a look at all this beauty, huh? Don't you want them to see it sooner? Look at that church for me. caught your friend, but I can see your two are not bandits. I'll help you out if you don't do anything stupid. I've got to run now. Just stay out of sight and you'll be fine. Catch you later.
wolves here! Please, man! Don't leave me here! <laughs> the fuckers tied me up so tight I can't feel my arms! Don't leave me here, man! There's lots of fucking wolves here! Look, man, the ropes to... Uh, I owe you a big one, and I'll never forget this, I swear! Uh, these forest fuckers just left me here for the wolves! Avast! Stop right there! It's the brethren of the coaster! Take another step and we run our rig on you! Aye! Another step and you die! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, so beat it, you scallywag! If you know what's good for your ground-loving ass! Even one of you drifters we caught today is too much! Aye! Be a good doggy and get lost! <laughs>
look, I've been thinking about asking you all this time. All this pirate stuff, the corpses on the post, do you guys really think the teacher wanted this? The teacher wanted us to defend ourselves. Well, none of this stuff helps. The bandits have been seen in the village again. Plus, our guys caught a drifter today. This just means they need us to remind them the lesson. That's why we're here. We'll catch a couple and make some fresh scarecrows. Well, bandits, I do understand. They did terrible things here. But this new drifter doesn't look like a bandit. Perhaps he was just passing by. If he is not a bandit, he should have just passed us by. But no, he crawled out of the river here. I say make a scarecrow out of him and keep the others away. I don't know about this, really. Intruders would come here. The wolves could, that's for sure.
Yeah, all right. Let's cut the rope and take him to the camp with the first one. Hey, wait a minute. You pioneers already have one, and this is our catch. He got caught on our turf. The net is mine, so bite me. Oh, yeah? Well, why did you set the trap on our turf, then? Uh, besides, you already have an intruder's backpack. I dived for the backpack, and you chickened out. Oh, I chickened out? You're pirates! You have more boats! And this one will face the forest court. Bojumoy, you're all cowards. He's an intruder, an enemy. What are you, a bandit? What did the teacher say? He said we must be different. Did you forget? Ah, isn't your head getting a bit too big? The teacher said we have to defend ourselves first. All the rest was later. Did you forget what the intruders would do here? He's an intruder too, so he must die before he brings the others. Enough! The forest court comes first. The court will decide if we kill him. No! The explosive team! Come on! The bullet off! So you got out, you asshole. It takes real skill to get away from the master of the forest. This means you're dangerous. Damn it. Fucking backpack. I got greedy. I got greedy. Well, shoot me. Or scram. I gotta get ready. For the final exam, <laughs> tell the teacher. I defended ours, didn't chicken out, didn't bully the girls. Teacher, I'm here. <sighs> probably got Eugene too. You went to the camp, we came here, it all took time. So what? We must at least get the bodies back. It's the cold cowards if we don't. Yeah. Let's push it then. Yeah. Well, tell me one thing though. How did you guys manage not to see the master? He can walk silently. And we were distracted. Another intruder got caught in the trap. And Eugene got excited, started demanding all the loot, or at least the food. Another intruder? Weird that Olga didn't say anything, and didn't even come with us. Ah, well, so what is he? Oh, still hanging out there. If the master didn't get him, what? more reason to hurry up then. Yeah, let's pick up some speed. Oh, I feel like someone's looking at me.
Teacher's work. What is that supposed to mean? You let an intruder go. He could leave the others here. He saw all of our positions here. Nobody let him go. He escaped. The guard was distracted, and he's being punished. Ha! Well, more intruders come and start coming to pieces. That's going to be a great end. Yeah, you'll be running around piecing your pants and shouting, We punish the guard. Or maybe you'll just surrender. Running at your forte. Oh, stinks like something died. I guess I'll go wash the sweat off. <laughs> yeah, right, it's still going to say it. Well, why not? Diligence is the mother of success. <laughs> well, go be diligent somewhere instead of wasting time. I just finished the patrol and am now enjoying my free time, so get off my case. <laughs> free time is for rest, and you're going to lose your voice if you continue like that. What's that to you? <laughs> Nothing. You could go mute for all I care, but this thing isn't going to say a word anyways. What? Even you can talk, and he's much smarter than you, that's for sure. Ah, shut up! Stay there, I don't care. Nobody cares. You'll see, it will blow everyone's mind when it talks. Come on now, say hello.
What's there, near those barrels? Did he have left? He's all dried up, but I'm sure. And there's Log! And the other boys from the third barrack. Where the hell are these fuckers hiding? Don't worry. The two we caught will talk soon. No, oh, these fuckers never talk. Oh, these will. These will. Oh, it's really weird them boys are taking so long there. Should have started cutting fingers off long ago. They'd have spilled their guts by now. Should start cutting heads off, not fingers. Those fuckers are hardcore total fanatics. They don't talk when you flay them alive. They just keep blaring their bullshit about exams and teachers. Ugh, what the hell is up with that shit I want to do? Yes, that's fucked up. I wonder why is it all quiet there? Out of fingers? Hey, boy! Cut their dicks off now or something! <laughs> yeah, cut them off! We got to find out before the other fuckers come here to check up on them! Well, they won't start shit with us openly. They're more used to hiding in the forest. So, what do we do now? Cut these two and go back home? We should bring all the boys here. Are you serious? We came here to show we could take them. Did you forget rowing for two days up the fucking river? Well, I didn't ask you to tell everyone we could take them. Okay, I fucked up. But we'll be laughing stock if we just return. Not us, you. It was you who had a bet with Baldi that you'd bring all their broads back home. The boys are <laughs> probably hard and bothered by now, so if you don't bring the broads, they might not have a new one. Let's hope the watch is the same. How about we go to the first place in the old village and through the forest? 
Hazel. Are you having fun with them fuckers or what? <laughs> That's a good one too. Oh, those two just lied. Well, yeah. I just can't get over the forest assholes having so many broads while the boys back home have balls blue like the fucking sky. Ah, who could have known they'd survive here? The old man used to tell stories about camp somewhere, where he found some fine bottles. And when was that? Right after the war. So he must have come over here. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely this place. And since that was right after the war, those broads must have been nothing but squirts back then. <laughs> I had no idea what he was talking about. Was it a juvenile war? Too young for that stuff, huh? <laughs> Enough talking, let's start walking. Them broads ain't gonna find themselves. Hey, Bull, Kuzia! Go take a walk into the village! Look, run there, check up on them. I don't like this. By the way, has anyone seen those broads lately anyway? The Red said he saw one from the other shore. She was taking it deep in the lake. Said that bone was fucking top. <sighs> he did. Where was I then? Shit, the fuckers here, people! Oh, shit, you had a bad day, bro.
fucking drought! Is there really some fuck hiding in the house, or is it just me? Fuck this, I'm quitting. So you're not one of them, I see. Uh, thanks for saving us, stranger. Uh, thank you. Oh, damn, friend. How did it even come out this way? Well, you're at the final exam now.
Freeze, Drifter! So, we meet again? Though I bet you don't remember who dragged you out of the water. My name is Olga, by the way. Was it you fighting the Master of the Forest? Awesome. Our hunters had been staying away from him for years. Damn it! Sorry, teacher. The locks are all rusted up. Your friend Alyosha is already at the dam. He said your cardinal won't wait, so you don't have much time. Sorry, I can't take you there. At today's consul session, the pirates moved to attack your train, but they had no right to even call one without me present. As usual, I need to go and sort this out. But I have a few minutes to give you some directions. You need a boat to get to the dam. And our pirates keep all the boats at their swamp camp. They are not the sharing kind, but that's no reason to attack. Nobody wants bloodshed, so just stay out of their sight. Take the road to the barricade. Go down to the swamp and find the dock. That's where Alosha and I took the boat from. Did you forgive me? There are some left, but be careful. Well, Drifter, take care. And don't make me sorry I helped you people. Tell Alosha I said hi. I'll stay a bit longer to tend to the grave of the teacher.
Damn, our luck's just getting worse for the day. What are you going on about? Not what, but whom? Do you know the drifter that the pioneers caught? Yeah, what about him? That guy got away. But the problem is, he was not alone. So what? We'll catch them all anyways. The first one, maybe. The second one, no. It was a tough catch. Lots of people tried, no dice. <laughs> That's one sneaky bastard. Which means if we catch him... Yeah, we'll be saying our vows in the teacher's house tomorrow. So keep your eyes peeled. This is our chance to become instructors. shooting like there was no tomorrow. Thought it was the bandits again. Then I saw the trees falling. Someone got the master mad. I heard that too. That was definitely not one of our guys. We've no fools here. <laughs> must have been the intruder. Yeah, must have. Do you think he got away? I doubt that. The master doesn't joke around. Mm, yeah.
So you can't knock on the door anymore, eh? As the teacher said, courtesy distinguishes us from bandits and other animals. Wait a moment. You're not one of ours. A bandit, then. Don't look like one. Though you never know with them bandits. Different shit every day. Am I right or what, Senya? You're always right, Admiral, sir. Uh, put a sock in it. Your nose is brown enough. Where was I? Ah, the bandit. Well, you're here. Which means that all those spineless worms and wannabe pirates are all dead. Am I right? Don't bother answering. Everyone knows I'm right. And good riddance, I say. Perhaps we should offer him our hospitality, Admiral, sir. He is a guest, even though he's a bandit. Ah, that's an idea. Take a seat, bandit. Let's have some tea. I bet you never tried anything quite like it. I gathered, dried, and brewed it myself. Can't get any help from this worthless lot. At least, they don't eat much. Hey, boys! Yeah! Trying our best, Admiral, sir! Ah, uh, quit your yapping. Making it worse racket than the damn aquas in heat. No respect for our guest, either. He can't get a word in edgewise. Don't mind them. To our meeting. That's a good tea. You fussy ground-loving rats don't drink it, though. Radiation! Radiation! Radiation, my ass! Radiation. Just look at us! Dangerous. We're all healthy as can be! <laughs> Thanks for coming here. See how happy my boys are? We don't really have anyone to talk to here anymore. They all left We're because... all but forgotten here. Even Roman forgot about us. Yet he was here with us when we built this base. All the boys remember that, don't you now? Yes, he was here! I remember. We all remember. That's right, boys. You all remember. But that bastard just forgot! And the other ground-loving rats, too! They all forgot we're protecting them all with our lives here. At first, they were so happy. They shouted, We'll kill all the bandits! The pioneers are cowards! The teacher is wrong! We're better off attacking! Didn't they, boys? Yeah, they did! They shouted their throats sore! Yeah, louder than those bandits we shot! There you have it. My boys do remember. And those don't. You could always count on them when you wanted someone to shout and call pioneers names. Aye, but when the going got tough and the Aquas started attacking in their hundreds, they changed their tune. Oh, radiation. Oh, it's dangerous. Oh, the girls say teacher told them to tell us that we have to get out. Well, fighting the Aquas ain't as fun as hanging bandits from the posts. You can rob the bandits when you kill them, but mutants don't have much worth taking. So who cares if they're about to eat the whole valley, right? Pathetic rats. That's who rats. they are. Ground-loving rats. A bit late to start listening to the teacher, too. Though, those rats don't care whom they listen to. Be it teacher, or the girls. If doing so gives them an excuse for chickening out. So, they all left. The cowards. Yeah. <sighs> 
Even the pioneers have more spine than that slime. They followed Ludmila to the dam. They were going to take the tunnels and then go along the reservoir, those adventurers. I've no idea if they actually got anywhere. But they weren't afraid of no radiation. That's for certain. Well, the only person who still has balls in that sorry lot is Olga. She did visit us a lot here, and she always thrashed those cowards at council sessions. Visit us, my ass! It's you who she visit! Yeah, right. Me! Though, if not for my spine wound, Olga and I would have turned this valley upside down. But now, who needs a cripple? To hell with her! A woman on a ship is bad luck. Besides, we stayed with you. Yes, my boys did stay here. I had to do some persuading to make them stay, though. Even you were going to abandon your old friend, weren't you? Weren't you? Come on, Admiral, sir. We'd never do that. Yeah, yeah. Tell that to this new guy. He seems to be all ears. But I can read you all like a book. And I say, you are going to leave me. And had I not brewed mighty extra super strong that day, you would have. No doubt about that. Hey, careful with the guitar! Got it, sir. I'll be careful. Come on, remember, this thing is an instrument. Yes, sir, an instrument. What the hell is up with you today? Do you want to scrub the deck so bad? Sorry, Admiral. Don't be sorry. Be better. How about you play something instead of dropping that guitar? I'd go for a shanty. Yes, Admiral. One shanty to coming hell, up. Sir. To hell. You're all ground-loving rats. Rats. Yes, I've been thinking. Why don't we have a smoke? I say we should. Oh, this is good. Strong, the way I like it. This tea is as good for smoking as it is for brewing. It can also cure any sickness and solve your marital problems. <laughs> This smell is an acquired taste, but I like it a lot. And my boys here don't have any problems with it. Not anymore. He's good. <laughs> Makes me sleepy, though. Look, bandit. You know what? Just stay here with us. Living here is fun. <laughs> we can talk, eat, and drink all we want. We'll find you a bunk tomorrow. I'll take a nap in the meantime. Just a little rest. Good tea! Good tea!
Roger. Get to the damn double time, sir. Over. Get some! Akiom? Damn, you're alive! I'm so glad to see you. And I just managed to get in contact with the Aurora. They are worried. And I get that. This place isn't as simple as it first seemed. Come, I'll show you. Let's go, Artyom. Hear the counter-react? There's a hell of a lot of radioactive sediment behind that concrete. And soon, it'll bring an end to this valley. Because the dam barely holds. Use your binoculars if you don't believe me. We can't stay here. Nobody can, really. Ah, well... See that zipline? Those kids built it, back when there wasn't as much seepage. That's where we need to go. The old man said the Aurora will soon be on the dam. We gotta hurry! I think something's wrong at the Aurora. It seems that Anna is not doing too good. We'll know more soon. Come on, Artyom! Damn, that is a lot of dirt! Man, I gotta tell you, I met this awesome girl here. She's drop-dead gorgeous. Name's Olga, an instructor. Everyone respects her. Plus, she's pretty understanding. Believe me when I said we're not enemies. She was the one who let me go from their camp. Love the first sight. I kept telling you people about my animal magnetism. So, here's your food. seems to be turning sour. So now I have this thought stuck in my head. I hope for the pursuit of all those things to me. And we need to celebrate. I don't want to feel enough yet. There's a piece of stuff. A band the size of a freaking house. Hear that? I think it smelled us. <laughs> you alive there?
An enormous beast. Well, Artyom, help me here. Let's restore this line's tension. We're done. Olga! I told you people, they just needed passage. Are you sure you're not coming? I'm sorry, Alyosha. I can't just stop and live like this. No matter how much I like you. In this case, I bid you farewell, my fair lady. Ah, to hell with it. Olga, I'll be back. I'll be waiting. Artyom, let's go! Olga! Remember what I told you! Get them out of the valley! There's death behind the dam! I just hope she convinces them! They are stubborn like... Like children, I guess! Even though they look like beasts, those pioneers, huh? Ah, she'll handle them all right! Here. You guys really had us worried there. Anna is in bad shape. We must move. Time is short. Neither the air nor the drugs we found along the way are of any help now. The illness has progressed too far. Come! <laughs> 